Hey guys, my name is Brandon Lane, and on this episode of Let's Get Physical to Physical Web, we're going to be taking a movie poster and making it physical web enabled. So let's get started. So here we are with a regular movie poster. Uh, you might see something like this in a movie theater, a mall, just anywhere you could see a poster, this is what you would be seeing. And now this is a physical web enabled poster. As you can see, hooked up the beacon, put the URL in, put the sticker on it, it's official. It's physical web enabled. So here we are. We're walking in the mall, in some store, basically anywhere that we may see an advertisement, and we see this poster. So we go up, we view the poster, we think it looks pretty cool, but we want to know information. Since we saw this sticker right here, we know that it is physical web enabled. So then we know to bring out our phones, open up the physical web app, we can see right here, scanning for beacons. It picked up the URL. We go and load the URL. So there it is, Tomorrowland. So you can buy the DVD from here, watch a trailer, some games, some other activities, a special clip of the director, all the information on the cast, basically everything you need to know in theaters, in stores, everything you might want to know about this movie is right here on this web page. And we knew that because of this, and it was easily accessible because of the Eddystone URL broadcasting from the beacon. So instead of just taking a regular poster like this and hoping that sells a movie or gets consumers interested, consumers can just walk up, figure out what the movie's about, and see if they want to go see it or buy it. It's a much better experience, a much better way of doing things. So now that I showed you how this physical web-enabled poster works, I'm going to show you how I set it up. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to set up the beacon to broadcast 90 stone URL and make this poster physical web enabled. So first we want to start out with the web page that we want to send it to. So I just take this web page, take this link up here, go ahead and copy it. Now we can back out of that. We can go back down to our physical web app here and we want to unplug the beacon so that then we're going to see this screen, we're going to see no beacon detected. Then, you want to take the beacon, <clears throat> plug it in, then it's going to say enter URL. So we're just going to go ahead and take this, click that X, it clears it out, paste it, done, do that, come back up here, click cancel, then refresh, make sure it's there. There it is. Click. Brings it right to it. So as you can see, extremely simple setup. I mean, that took me less than a minute to set it up. You just simply copy and paste that URL right into that physical web app. You can use other apps to set it up, but this tutorial is just using the physical web app. Literally that simple. And now you have yourself a physical web enabled poster. So I've shown you the full physical web enabled poster experience, everything from how to set it up to how it looks on the phone and what it can do for the consumer. Overall, it is an awesome thing and can turn an amazing experience just out of a simple poster like this. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Other than that, subscribe for future episodes. And like always, let's get physical with the physical web. <laughs>